This is Zainab Khan along with my fellow friend Dupain Kaushik and Priya Paranwal from School of Management Sciences, London. Hope you all are well. Today, I am with a person who has 13 years of industrial experience and also he has been a senior educator for over two decades. He has been a maker of guidance for his students and faculty and he is a recipient for innumerable awards which are impossible for me to sum up in this interview. But just to make a note, he is a Shiksha Bharti award winner. 2011. So, without taking much time, I extend a very warm welcome to Professor Dr. Manoj Mehrotra, Director of School of Management Sciences, Lucknow. Thank you so much, sir, for taking the time. As we all in our lives sometimes wonder, what should I do? What am I doing? Is it like whatever I am doing? So, sir, our question to you is, can you please enlighten us on how can we discover our life purpose and what other factors besides our studies are essential? For achieving success in life? There are two different questions which actually you have uh, combined together. Uh, one is actually whether uh, whatever you are doing is it right or not. Uh, there are various aspects to viewing this particular aspect. If you have uh, a purpose in life that what you want to do, what you want to achieve, it is something. Uh, where you need to start, uh, it is uh, there in the uh, seven habits of highly effective people. You can read that particular book and it says that you need to start with the end in mind. That what is the time when exactly it is your dead body and at that particular time, what would you like? people to say about you. You need to start working from that particular angle. If that is what you want to hear about yourself, is the same thing and currently what you are also having, you are in the right track. Otherwise, you need to think, fine, if you want to hear something else about you, then you need to start working. That exactly is your goal. It might be related to anything about the person, that the person was very friendly, very helpful, or whatever you want to hear about you, that is the starting point of your life. That is the starting of the goal setting which we are talking about. So, if you need to start thinking about that perspective from your own, and everybody could have a different kind of perspective. Somebody might say, fine, they are being appreciated as a very good uh, sports person. Somebody could say, they fine, like they, if, if the person could be an anchor to the whole family or uh, achieving great heights in the professional world. So, whatever you want to hear about yourself, that is the starting point. That becomes your goal. Now, you need to think that whatever you are doing, is it leading towards your goal? Then it is right. If it is taking you away from the goal, that is not right. This is exactly what exact you can say. The second part of the question which you said, can you repeat that? Please enlighten us on how can we discover our life purpose and what are the factors beside our studies are essential for achieving success in life? That, that's exactly the second part which you are talking about is success. Now again, how do you define success? If, uh, that is going to be a different for every different person. It is not going to be the same. Somebody may say, fine, you have uh, become the number world uh, person uh, in the world uh, that is being appreciated uh, that you uh, have the maximum amount of money. If that defines success, you uh, can say, fine, that is what exactly you but if you say, fine, I have made uh, uh, millions of people happy, now if that is success, there is something which you need to think of. So how exactly a person defines success, that is also is no particular one line definition. There, I can only say that as far as your students when you are talking about that what you can consider, there are six areas in life in which you need to make your goals. 
one we are talking about you said beside your studies and something of that sort so you need to think my one would be your career goals second would be your personal goals third would be your financial goals fourth will be your family goals fifth will be your social goals and sixth will would be your health goals so you need to think of it and balance out in all these areas that where you are currently and where you want to go you need to fix up a part target for your own self start with by making a five year plan in each of these particular areas and maybe if you can start as rightly said from the uh, top you you can understand find where you want to end that you go then you can break it down gradually year wise this is exactly how you can go ahead very nice my next question is uh, we all got values and lessons from our family and other elders so can you tell us what uh, these values they in a role play in our lives like how it develops overall development of our personality right uh, uh, you ask a very valid question because the formative years are the exactly ones which give you the ingredients for the, the future and exactly uh, the value system starts from the home that what kind of uh, value system is prevalent in the family that is exactly carried in the future life so if a, if a person is being taught right in the very beginning to touch feet of the elders pay respect to the elders it carries on throughout the life but fine in the name of uh, modernization if uh, people have forgotten their uh, value system and they say i don't believe and i have my own uh, system okay you have your own individuality absolutely true but being individual does not mean that you can be away from the society you can follow any kind of individual norms that is not expected so it is the same thing when we are talking about the small aspects like the norms of dressing right how you exactly dress up and how you present yourself in front of other people there are different uh, situations in which you can uh, behave in a particular manner right if you are uh, there in a bathroom fine you, you can uh, sing aloud uh, fine <laughs> and when you once you are there in the stage <laughs> it requires a different kind of a performance if you are a good singer fine so you need to understand there are different situations in which you need to behave differently so society has fixed up certain kind of social moral norms which need to be adhered to and how much exactly they are going to be adhered to is also being defined by the uh, influence of your faculty hey, for your fa- family what you have uh, gained from your family that how exactly you should be behaving it is something which translates over a period of time if that respect for uh, the elders is not prevalent in the uh, family the same thing is going to be translated in the child also. Uh-huh. he is not going to care for them. Uh-huh. some people might become too self centered they are not thinking about the other elders so that also starts from the family so that is another kind of a value system which you are talking about. so uh, you need to definitely understand that if a person in the future life is behaving in a particular manner it is not only the particular given situation in which the person is behaving there is a, a background also which is involved and that background is the family uh, values and ethics which are also involved in creating that kind of a behavioral outcome in the person i hope i have answered your uh, yes. we are human 
we have a lot of emotions, especially young people. And uh, can you tell us how to control these emotions and make it make our life more balanced? Right? We have to control both the things. But in the uh, job interviews also, you are likely to be asked certain kind of uh, difficult questions. That how far emotions are going to be interfering in your professional career. In that particular aspect, how do you think you are going to answer that particular question? See, everybody has an emotional self. It is understanding your own self, your own emotions, and also the emotions of others, only then you can maintain a balance. Understanding this particular aspect and the total aspect of this particular uh, thing, uh, there is a book by Daniel Goldman where it talks about emotional intelligence, which uh, he is considered as the father of uh, emotional intelligence. Emotions uh, can be a very powerful tool in uh, your career success and they could be very detrimental also for your uh, career as well as for your future life also. So how you are able to maintain that kind of balance? I hope you, uh, uh, you get a chance to uh, read that particular book and then you will be able to understand. And, uh, there are few things in this particular context which I can say that uh, uh, I'll rather ask you that question. If you are uh, given a particular task and the person who is actually with whom you will be interacting is not going to be very friendly. Maybe the person is very professional and he doesn't like being friendly at all. In that particular situation, I'll ask, can you change the situation? Can you change the other person? So, what is the change? That is exactly what we are talking about. So in a, that particular case, you are the only one where certain kind of change could happen. So for that, your emotions for which you might not be having very uh, friendly terms with uh, the other person. Despite that, uh, you need to control those particular uh, emotions and restrict to only the professional life. Only then you will succeed. So the, the situations are going to vary. Persons are going to vary in life and because of this you will also have to change because of the different kind of uh, given situation. Fine. Thank you so much sir. Also another aspect which uh, uh, reminds me over here, uh, which uh, probably you can share with your classmates. When you talk to your friends, is it the same way uh, where you talk to your parents? Fine. So, the manner, the behavior is something which is where you are also controlling your own emotions. It is not the same way. Yes, ho sakta hai, aap gussa bhi hai, parents say, but despite that, if you are not going to be behaving the same manner. So, this is something which you need to understand that uh, will actually also try to also analyze your parents, your father, your grandfather, if they are talking to their friends, is it the same way when they, he is talking to your uh, mother or he is talking to you? They are not going to the same way. They are going to be different. It is the same thing which we need to uh, understand. This is where we are talking about understanding our emotions and managing those emotions in a particular situation and with a particular type of person. Right. 
it is this which we call as maturity. आप अपने पापा से हो सकता है गुस्सा भी कर दो तो भी पता चले पापा हो सकता है आप का कई बार गुस्से का उस हिसाब से रिएक्शन ना करें वो कोई दूसरे ढंग से रिएक्शन करें ताकि आप जो एक्चुअल कॉज ऑफ गुस्सा है वो उनको समझ में आए दिस इज समथिंग वे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मेच्योरिटी नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस विच वन वी टॉक अबाउट द IQ, which you might have heard of, intelligent portion, which actually, as the person grows from the age of zero to fourteen uh, years, that is the maximum where the EQ grows. Intelligent portion after that it does that does not grow; it becomes stagnant. After that, the growth is with the EQ. That is emotional portion, fine. And that growth, which we are talking about, is as you can see the difference of maturity in your parents, in your grandparents, and yourself, and your still your younger siblings. It is this which we are talking about your understanding your emotions and growing and handling and managing. Thank you so much, sir. Very really distracting points for our interview. Thanks, sir. As you said, nice to meet you, students. Students are like our main focus of this conversation. So you were also a student back then. So what are the common challenges that students face like back then or now? What are the similarities? What are the differences? And how can we solve those problems? Not much of a difference. The only difference which has uh, come from my uh, particular time period and this period is technology. Nothing else is uh, very different. Uh, professors have always been similar. Teaching has always been uh, fine. Uh, there are differences from uh, one teacher to another teacher. A kind of uh, uh, methodology will be used. The kind of how exactly uh, you your uh, immerse yourself into the particular uh, topics and subjects and grow accordingly so that has always remained the same over the years previous and till now and it is what i can say at your uh, level graduation level post graduation level even when you go to further maybe phd level or those kind of uh, programs you need to understand that whatever is going to be delivered in the class even out of research which has been proved that uh, even in foreign countries only around 20% of the course content could actually be delivered in the class if the person is actually delivering 40% and 50% <laughs> you are lucky rest you will have to gain for your own and that is how exactly it has been over the years and that is how exactly it continues only the tool which you have today is the technology at your command which you can use to the best of your ability this is something which was not prevalent in our times and uh, you need to learn and use it to the best of your advantage because every uh, point has a different side also so uh, the technology the other flip side is also there you might lose up uh, much of your time in wasteful uh, uh, activities on the uh, uh, with the technology rather than useful ones so there is here again you need to balance out your Thank you. Thank you. So, as said, students of today will become working professionals for tomorrow, and work balance is the trending and burning topic among today's youth. So, sir, can you tell us that how can we manage and make a work balance between personal and professional? Some researches are going on every way, every day. Practically, there are certain kind of uh, papers which are being written, uh, conferences which are being held. the research continues 
in, in order to find an idealistic kind of a situation how you can uh, find a work life balance fine uh, this uh, uh, question is going to haunt you practically uh, throughout your life well uh, the only thing which uh, you, you can understand how much of you yourself want to uh, spend time in the uh, corporate life and how much in, uh, of time for your family you need to decide based on that you can also decide on the type of careers which are available to you the plus point which is there today we have got flexibility of time work in working time we are talking about a lot of uh, companies are offering that kind of flexibility work from home and those kind of uh, situation especially the it companies so uh, you need to decide that how much exactly you need to and that will also uh, be dependent on the type of uh, expertise which you have the skills which you have and where exactly you will be uh, more fit and then you can decide that what exactly are the uh, challenges of this work life balance there is no clear cut definition of this right that i why everyone says fine i want more time uh, more time for my family yeah okay uh, but then the company says i am paying you and i am paying you maybe uh, much more higher i want your time <laughs> that kind of a situation will always be there but yes you you need to also understand that a time comes in life where uh, certain has decisions need to be made especially uh, uh, in case of ladies when once you are uh, maybe expanding your family and in that kind of a work situation uh, you might require more time for your family as compared to those starting time where you are starting afresh and you don't have that kind of family responsibilities you can spend more time in the corporate right so there is where again this kind of a balance will also define at what stage of career you are and then you can take your own call also uh, you have your own choices maybe you can change your company where exactly those kind of uh, flexible flexi types are available thank you so much sir we definitely work on it so we often hear that resilience and persistence shape our personality so could you please appraise us the, on this thing uh, resilience and persistence well uh, persistence is of course uh, something which is essential in order to uh, progress in life persistence towards your own uh, career persistence towards your own goal that i have already discussed about the goal the so how much exactly you are able to progress and persist in your progress towards your goal that persistence will always be required in order for uh, progress when we talk about uh, resilience it is something that a person uh, even if he is progressing is there are going to be obstacles there are going to be road blocks there are going to be failures but those failures should not deter you from your goal those failures should not be that uh, you uh, get depressed you leave that particular uh, goal altogether that should not happen in fact uh, it should be the a stepping stone to a new beginning that is what exactly uh, resilience is how quick you are able to bounce back that is resilience it is something like uh, um, uh, a spun ball in if it is uh, pressed then after that again it resumes the same shape the uh, same thing we were talking about you are going to face pressures in life you are going to definitely have a certain kind of problems in life 
how well you are able to respond to it and come back overcoming that that is what exactly resilience is and it is also another aspect which is required in your progress because obstacles will be there failures will be there but failures should not deter you from your path and how soon you are able to bounce back that is exactly what we are talking about here is resilience for that you will also require understanding your emotional thing emotional thing that is how it that we get in things thank you so much sir so sir our last question to you is that do you have any tip to give you give any word of advice to our student community take it as a training ground don't take it as just passing and getting your degree use all the opportunities for your development and also i would uh, say something which which is going to bounce back on uh, all of us <laughs> that is you are being given an opportunity in academics and otherwise also use the head of your teachers and take out everything from them for your benefit it depends on you they are not going to give it until unless you ask they are only going to deliver according to what they have to do if you want extra you have to go into them and take it out from them fine so we don't need that is the same so we will we will work for tomorrow <laughs> okay anything thank else no thank you so thank much you. for giving your valuable time to us we are so delighted that we got a chance to interview you you thank you very much thank you so much it was a very time message thank you i hope you uh, will be able to carry something so sure, that we will definitely